Now this is a comment I get a lot that the fill tool in high paint is not working as you would expect. Now there's a couple of things we can triple check just to make sure we are using it correctly. So if I use the ballpoint pen and I just create a circle and I go to my fill tool, if I was to tap in the middle of the circle and it does this, this is probably the issue that you're running into. Now the first thing we want to take a look at, let's go ahead and tap with two fingers to undo, is our tolerance. Now tolerance is, imagine it like you are chucking some paint onto the screen, you're pouring some paint into this circle, but if you pour too much, it spills over the edges. So you want to bring your tolerance down and try again. So you can tap again to add the fill and you can see now it stays within. The only difference now is we've got this little bit of a fuzzy line in our circle. So you can tap with two fingers to undo. You can go ahead and bring the tolerance back up to something fairly high and try again until you manage to fill it until there's no fuzzy line there. So that's one thing that you want to take a look at. Now the other scenario is potentially that you've got a circle that's got a particular sort of brush head on it that has big gaps in it. For example, I'm using a brush here which is the dry media and the carbon stick. I've just done a circle just the same way we did before but if I tap with the fill tool in the same area with the same tolerance it spills over so some brushes because they have fuzzy edges to them you won't be able to do the fill quite as much as say something that's nice and solid so just bear that in mind that your tolerance will probably need to come down the other scenario is that you've got multiple elements on the screen at the same time so for example if i have these two circles we can see on my layers that they're on two separate layers so they're two completely separate items but i go to my fill tool and i tap in here and bizarrely it's using one of the circles on one layer and the circle on another layer. What's going on there? So what we're looking at is this icon here. This is now using the fill tool. It's looking at every single other layer within your document and saying, well, I'll take into consideration the content on those layers for the fill. You may actually want this, but potentially if you're just trying to fill the circle, then you have an issue. And all you need to do is tap on it to change it to the single layer and the only layer we're currently looking at should be the black circle. So if I go to my fill tool and I tap now, it should only fill in the black circle. So hopefully that fixed your problem and now you can crack on with your high paint design. And if you found this video helpful, you'll probably find this one on the screen now because I have a helpful playlist of lots of different things for high paint, as well as 20 tips that you might find really interesting for the app.